there and Teddy your reflections on Greg Page. Well he loved Muhammad Ali and he did a pretty darn good imitation although that's impossible for anybody to really imitate maybe the greatest maybe the greatest heavyweight of all time but he loved Ali he was fluid like Brian said he had fast hands he would float around the ring a lot bigger than Ali of course the heavyweights of the later years they grew bigger but he would move around quick hands quick feet and I remember him as a nice kid as a kid who was a real good amateur and a kid who during the 80s when he won his title it was kind of the the year of the musical chairs the era of the musical chairs in the heavyweight division between Witherspoon Tuggs and Page all those guys kind of took turns sitting in that mm -hmm. chair you know for a moment then they got up and somebody else took a turn we're gonna miss we're gonna miss the person and the fighter page like Brian said our prayers are with his family short left hand moments ago from McHugh and he's in the blue trunks 14 and 0 unbeaten but untested up until this point and Vera has proven that he can be a challenge to many like this a rugged Texan veteran guy 16 and 2 of course Craig McEwen he is co-managed and trained is the Scottish fighter by Freddie Roach and there is Freddie Roach just six days removed from the pinnacle signature moment of his career leading Manny Pacquiao to that sensational knockout of Ricky Hatton I think people you know lose perspective on Freddie Roach Teddy and the, and the story of his career I mean he was a broke and broken fighter at the end of his career now he's on top of the world the top trainer active trainer in the world i mean he's to the point he's got endorsements you, you see him on the reality show he's even pitching his own fighting fit vitamins online you got the heavy bag freddie's got the vitamins the fighting fit vitamins i mean you know but it's it's this fairy tale ride for freddie roach that you know he told us yesterday he never saw coming but he's happy to be in the position he is well you know you see a lot of times talent will get you there but but it gets you there quick in anything. And it might not always keep you there, but character, perseverance, will, all those type of things that take years to develop, that gets you there late and that keeps you there. And Freddie Roach is proof of that. That's why he's there and that's the story you just described. And the reason why he's been able to take that journey is because of the character of Freddie Roach. So I'm happy for him. Now this is his fighter in there, covering up for a moment against Brian Vera's Craig McHugh. And by the way, uh, Freddie will be in studio on Friday Night Fights as the guest studio analyst alongside Brian Kenny on May 22nd. So we look forward to that. Coming to the end of round four, main event scheduled for 10. Joe and Teddy with you in Fort Worth, round five, Vera and McEwen. Right now, punch track numbers are showing that McEwen has a 99 to 58 connect advantage. You know, both losses by Vera have come by the knockout route, but always against physical, strong guys. And that's one thing he doesn't have here in McEwen. He has a guy that presents another problem to him, a guy who's a little bit smart and mobile. And those guys give him trouble, too, because they keep more bounds and they don't let him get set for what he's good at, which is winging those looping shots. He needs you in front of him to be able to do that. And so far, for the most part, McEwen hasn't given him that. Well, let's look at your scorecard, Teddy, through four rounds so far in this main event. And you've got the first four rounds going to McEwen. By the way, the two knockouts in the career of Brian Vera. He was knocked out by Jadon Codrington and he was TKO'd more recently by James Kirkland. He told us Codrington flat out is a harder puncher than Kirkland. Kirkland may be a little more accurate and puts them together, but Codrington single punch harder than Kirkland. Well, I'll tell you something flat out, since you're using that terminology. Flat out, McEwen has more choices. He does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, it's it's just, yeah, just yeah. more dimensions to him. I mean, Vera has one. He comes in that space, right in that front door, you know, a little bullish, and he tries to catch you going back. And if you stay there, well, he'll try to work a little bit on the inside. Although I think for a guy who's always looking to get in, Vera doesn't always do the best job of making sure he can work when he gets in there. Sometimes he smothers himself. But he's a one-way man. Mm -hmm. He's coming at you. McEwen, 
Oh, you can see, he's got so many choices in this fight. He can box on the outside, he can move off to the edges, you know, get those angles, get off, get out. And he can also, in spots, stay in the pocket. He can punch inside those wide shots of Vera. Just you know, showed that he's more accurate on the inside there, too, landing those two headshots. The one thing that McEwen has to be careful, we said it early, and I'm going to say it if we have to late, because that's the one danger zone for McEwen, that he doesn't go back from too close and get caught on the way back. He can go back, but from outside where he's safe. Then when he goes back, he'll make Vera reach in, and then they have plenty of opportunities to counter. But if he goes back from a little too close, and Vera steps with him just right. Well, that's what Vera's looking for. Body shot underneath, and Vera went up top. Vera and McEwen at the halfway mark of our main event. Welcome back to our main event. Next week, Friday Night Fights presented by Just For Men, Hair Color, and 9 o'clock start time. Heavyweights, Kevin Johnson, Devin Vargas from Atlantic City. A heavyweight main event next week on Friday Night Fights. Round six between Vera and the undefeated Craig McEwen. Originally from Scotland. Dad has a boxing gym over the ponds, but he always wanted to come stateside to pursue his pro career, and that is what he has done. That's an interesting heavyweight fight next week. It is, isn't it? Yeah, two undefeated yeah. fighters. You know, Kevin Vargas was an Olympian on the U.S. team. That's, that's He's a team captain. And, and yeah, it's pretty interesting that he would take that kind of challenge at this point in his career. So, a fight to look forward to. And, and Kevin Johnson is a very physical presence. Vera getting in a couple headshots there. Let's bring in the champ, Bernard Hopkins, our ESPN boxing analyst who's in studio tonight. Bernard, yesterday when we talked to Craig McEwen, uh, he was quick to point out what they thought was a seminal moment in his pro career where management, Freddie Roach and Billy Keane said, you know what, let's test the guy, we think he's tough. And that was putting him in sparring with you. Do you remember being in there with Craig McEwen and what do you think of him? Absolutely. I remember getting ready for Winky Wright and also uh, Joe Galzaki at the Wild Card Gym in L.A. Uh, he's a better boxer than a slugger. As you see, he's, he's, he's lanky, he's tall. Um, he should use his height, he should use his reach and keep the guy in the center of the ring and box off of that. And right now, you know, he, he's doing it every now and then, but he's not doing it enough, making the fight a little bit more harder than it, than it should be. But uh, he got a, you know, he got a tough guy walking to him, but if he stays in the middle of the ring, keeps the distance, he can box this guy all night. Bernard Hopkins in studio with BK. Good job doing the analysis tonight. Wrapped up the Pacquiao-Hatton fight very succinctly. Coming up on the final minute mark of round number six. Right now, I'm making no excuses for Beer and taking nothing away from the effort. And a good fight plan of McEwen. But maybe five and a half months ago when Beer got knocked out by the undefeated James Kirkland, something was left in that ring because you don't see the effort from Vera, the physical effort from Vera that you saw a year ago in the Andy Lee fight. There are the headshot numbers in 100. Century mark landed now by Fred McEwen. See what you just saw there? That's the key. Forget about the punch numbers. What you just saw up there, right, right there, on the inside where Vera, the guy who's not as mobile, not as fast, not as good on the outside, he gets inside and he allows himself to be tied up. He puts his hands behind McEwen. He can't win the fight if that's his attitude. And my question would be, why is that his attitude? Now he comes charging in here at the end of round six. Four to go from Fort Worth. 